stopping back by the channel, the auto shop life. So I've been telling you guys that uh, I'll be doing a reveal on the BMW. It's been a long journey. Pretty much got this thing, uh, you know, where I'd like it to be. Pretty much right on time for winter too. Getting ready to put it up here, but uh, finally got it back from the paint shop. I mean few months ago you guys remember the video then we we're waiting on the side skirts because I ended up ordering the wrong side skirts there's a few other things I wanted to do um, you know ground effects get things working on the inside a couple little interior pieces missing wanted to make that perfect but got this thing uh, pretty much all finished up and uh, show you guys how it turned out check it out shut up and sit down So, as you guys can see, some of the clips there turn out sweet. You know, I definitely like it. Um, you guys can see it here in the background. Um, between the LED lights and, uh, you know, the paintwork and all that stuff, you know, there's a few other things that I definitely still want to take care of, like the hood. You know, the body shop pretty much only took care of the driver's side. If you guys remember, you know, how that back door looked. Um, looking into some rims for this thing but you know fighting the CAN bus network on this thing I mean between the you know the LED error message the cancelers that I got to put in there and finding a volt bulb to fit these uh, you know projector uh, HID housings I mean man I ended up I ended up breaking one trying to trying to fix it and get a light to fit in there but it's been uh, it's been it's been a long road but finally got all the lights working the way I want them got uh, you know pretty much the basics done with it. I still got a little work to do on the, as far as the audio system goes. I think one of the subs underneath the seats starting to crackle a little bit. And that was after I figured out that the amp was bad. Basically, you know, you, you kind of hit it with the bass and all of a sudden the bass cuts out. I've actually dealt with this before on a customer's BMW. It was a known issue with those uh, Logic 7s uh, amps overheating and going bad. So I had to deal with that. But, uh, Definitely, uh, definitely like the way it turned out. This thing is definitely, uh, you know, for a thousand bucks, you know, picking this bad boy up for a thousand bucks, she turned out pretty rad. Me, the wife, definitely enjoy driving it. This thing definitely turned into a, uh, a pretty solid car. And, you know, as you guys know, I'm not going to be flipping this one. I did pick up a couple other cars for the channel. We'll be working on up and coming. Got an 04. Volvo XC90 and then I picked up a G6 convertible trans and motor swap on those motor on the Volvo trans on the G6 so gotta find time for those but man really like the way this thing turned out like I talked about phase two take care of the tints looking into some rims few little odds and ends but uh, you know definitely got all the LED upgrades on it the ground effects show you guys here Got the doors working. You guys seen the BMW logo? Mounted a little switch under here. Got some ground effects down there now. Gotta love these doors. No slam doors. You can see just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Didn't want to go with any kind of color. Just regular white to glow the street. I'm gonna probably put some in the back too. I got the grill. Definitely nice. You can still see part of the accident here. Couldn't get this aftermarket bumper to line up, but you can't really tell. Doesn't bother me. It's a pleasure to drive. As you can see I got the interior proper everything works horn works CD works radio got it working like I said I think this one of the subs in the back crackling a little bit sorry about the lighting in here but got LEDs in the domes the vanity back there back seat looks like it's never been sat in got the partitions in the windows those all work the power seats work Heat, AC, all that. 
This thing fired up. You guys can see the mileage on there. I've put a few on there, probably about a thousand miles since I've gotten it. Maybe a little less. What do we got? 69, 246. But definitely nice. It's actually a shocker to me, the stuff that, uh, you know, I thought this thing was going to need and ended up not needing. But it's missing the phone in here. It's got the little spot for the Motorola phone. That's missing. But the CD changer works. All the CD changers. This one I pulled out. Put inside the trunk or inside the... I forgot where I even stuck that. But got it all cleaned up. These things were pretty slick back in their day. I definitely enjoy driving this thing. The ashtrays all cleaned out, cup holders all cleaned out. Got the GPS working on there. So there it is guys, the big reveal, 2003 745i BMW, pretty much done. You know, the 1000 I got into it, you know, all in all, thousand, picked it up for a 1000, pretty much got a 1000 in parts, probably a 1000 in paint, we're at three there, then a 1000, you know, miscellaneous, taking care of all the fluids, you know, the little mods I did, the upgrades and all that stuff, probably about 4000 all in, but you know, hey, Definitely worth it to me. I enjoy driving it. Definitely uh, be driving this thing till the snow actually hits because this thing in the snow, definitely a no-go. Definitely be jumping back into the Tahoe as soon as the snow hits. Put this one up till the springtime or whatever. But you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Also, you guys let me know if you want to check out that new Volvo I picked up, the new G6. Maybe we'll do a motor swap series or you know a couple videos on flipping those things because uh, those ones I definitely won't be keeping. This one definitely part of the collection now so as always guys like comment subscribe check you in the next one signing out